Hi guys, once again, a warm welcome to you watching Daily Trends on Penax News, the only platform we bring you trending issues in Ghana and beyond. I'm AA and I'm here with the hottest just in town. Coming up in my first update, I have Dolores Frimpon Manson, who happens to be a media personnel in Ghana, popularly known as Delay. She is the host of the Delay show on TV3. Just recently, first it was aired at GH1, but currently on TV3. Well, Delay is in the news once again. People do point fingers at her saying that she is not as wicked and selfish as a fiasua nigga. Well, this is from the camp of one beautiful woman who is also an actress here in Ghana. She is in the person of Sandra Ababio. Sandra Ababio, who is an actress in Ghana, has also a lot of controversial issues on social media. Recall that some time ago it was in the news that she was having a romantic affair with one actor who is an into acting. He normally plays the comedy role and also brings a lot of smiles on faces of people watching movie. Who is in the person of Louise? Yes. Louise happens to be, uh, according to rumor, the romantic lover of Sandra Ababio. Well, guys, it came about that all these rumors that we were hearing concerning these two were fallacy, meaning it was no true. Lewin himself came out to say that Sandra is a very nice person, and anytime they go out together, it is about movie or anything concerning production. But aside that, they do not have any romantic relationship like people suggested on social media. Well, guys, people were shading her back and forth. But, well, she was able to come through this uh, successfully. As I'm talking to you, Sandra Ababio, also, uh, even though she is an actress, she is also somebody who is loved by many. Well, during an interview with Abeku Santana, Abeku asked her a question. And this is exactly what she was able to tell Abeku concerning delay. You know, whenever we go on, um, we go for interviews and other things like that. Presenters do ask us questions that they think it's battling the minds of people, especially the netizens right here in Ghana. And you know, in Ghana, you cannot go to an interview and return scot free without we figuring out what actually the problem or the solution that we really want to know about. So this is exactly what Abeku Santana asked Sandra Ababio. People complain that Delay is wicked. She is a cheat. And when you work with her, she doesn't like to pay back. What was your experience with her? This is the question Abeku Santana asked her. And this is the reply that Sandra gave him. She said, I would only share my experience with her. I don't know about others. But the little I will say is that she only gave some of us the opportunity to show off what is embedded in us. I don't expect her to give me the platform at the same time fix my car when it's faulty or feed me when I'm hungry. Well, guys, this is from the camp of Sandra Ababio. Everybody talks, share, or everybody takes to his or her page what he or she thinks. And then he also asked, no, she hasn't signed any contract like that from my point of view. That is what Sandra is saying. She said, no, she hasn't signed in the contract like that from my point of view. You just need to understand that we all come to work. So at the end of the day, she pays you as expected. The only time she is expected to take care of you is when she, is, she has signed a contract within a period of time. I know within that time, she will take responsibilities as expected of her. My experience with her was normal, work and pay something. So I don't think delay is a cheat. She is just a business woman. As other people are thinking that delay is a cheat and then she is somebody who is wicked, especially our own Ifia Schwarzenegger, like she does shade her on social media. Well, Sandra Babil says that in as much as people think that she is wicked, to her, delay is not somebody who is a cheat, but rather she is a businesswoman and she deals according to business strategy. So anything 
that complies against the contract that she has with you. That one is between you and her. But to her, she thinks whatever the contract is, you do not expect her to give you food when the contract is not based about food. Moving on to other stories. It's about a dance hall artist right here in Ghana. When you come to Ghana, he is one of the favorite people when it comes to the show business in music. And his genre of music that he mostly sings is dancehall or reggae. And most of the songs that he comes up are motivational messages and also they portray love and culture in our country. When you come to Ghana, he's one of the people that everybody really hails. Uh, this person is no other than Livingston Eche, who is popularly known in show business as Stone Boy. Today in the new Stone Boy is uh, somebody who has been also nominated or is part of the headline to City Splash Festival in UK. Ghana is also proud of this young gentleman because of the impact he is making in his generation. Well, guys, as I'm talking to you on the 29th of May, there will be a great City Splash Festival in the UK. And apparently, he has been selected as one of the people, not just him, but also the people of Mr. Easy, Barrington Levy, Prote, Cronium, Sister Nancy. Lucinio and many more other artists are also uh, included in this great contest. And this is happening on the 29th of May, like I earlier mentioned. The festival is aimed to help celebrate the impact and importance of Caribbean and African music on the British culture. According to the organizers of this great festival, we know music is also an act of culture and it also brings about togetherness, love, empathy and a whole lot of uh, recreational things that bring people together. So as we are speaking at the moment, Brookfield Park, Brixton is the place or the location where this great festival will be held. So Livingston Eche, who is a proud Ghanaian, will be going to UK on the 29th of May in order to help make this great contest a reality. And also, noticing these three countries, that is London, Birmingham, and in Manchester, has been the local uh, countries in UK that also helps to exhibit these great talents. In as much as Stone Boy has been granted such great privilege, he is also going to make Ghana proud. We all know dancehall or reggae are some genre of music that also bring impartation in the life of the youth. It also helps us to know that culture is also one beautiful thing that we have to heal. Even though people also tag people that are dancehall or regular artists as people, that uh, go high with high drugs and other stuff. Others also think that that culture is a perfect way to help every individual in the country. Well, guys, this is where I end today's story on what is trending here in Ghana and beyond. I'll bring you more updates about what is going on in the country and beyond. Stay glued. This is Daily Trades on Phoenix News. Have a nice day.